What is Iron Man's favorite carnival ride? So it says Showtown up top. Fun girls tucked away. Can you see that okay? Vietnamese food day until you can't feel your lips. Like your lips are like bright red. Bright red right now. Let's see your hands. Your hands are just covered in hot sauce. They, he told us that they have a pound of crab legs for $9.99. How is that possible? It's not. That's Lobster tails for $15.99. How was it? It was really good. Are you going to try with the chili oil next? Fresh rolls today. <laughs> All right, Amy, where are we off to? I'm backing out the car, and what are we doing today? We are going to go visit a food truck, Tadaz. We yeah. love their restaurant. We're going to try their food truck because it's kind of down south, close to us. Okay, so Ta and his brother, Loke, um, they are Vietnamese, and they have what I consider the best pho and banh mi sandwiches in the Tampa area. It's amazing. Really, really good. So if you're visiting the area, make sure you look up Folak Ta and Tada's Kitchen, because they own a couple different restaurants, um, T-A-D-A, -A, and it is really, really fantastic. What do you like, what do you normally eat there? I love their pho, obviously it's delicious. They have a really, really good lemongrass tofu, and the banh mi cannot be beat. It's very good. What type of uh, pho do you normally get? You sometimes get the vegan pho, right? Yeah. And then I, oftentimes, I love the banh mi. The banh mi is fantastic, but that's only at Tada's Kitchen. It isn't always at Folak Ta. Um, I like the banh mi. And then what else do I get there? Oh, I get uh, their bang bang shrimp with some rice yeah, and shrimp. pickled daikon. Yeah. I love that. I mix it all together. They make it kind of special for me. and It's really good. So, um, yeah, the location of the food truck today is going to be in Ruskin. Have you been to Ruskin before? Probably, but... I don't know. Okay. Don't know. So we're going to head down from Riverview, Florida, which is just south of Tampa, to maybe about 15 minutes more south of Tampa. Like on the way to Sarasota? Yeah, towards okay. Sarasota. And it's on Highway 41. So we're going to check it out. I think he's been there for about a week. Now, Ta actually does, um, on like his job before owning a kitchen, he was a welder. And he was a, so he worked a lot with um, the power companies. And I think a lot of times he puts up the, the food truck um, by different power company places. So I don't know if it's down by Apollo Beach where they've got a coal plant. Like if he put it there intentionally to, for that. So we'll find that out today. And then on the way home, stick around because something else that I think is kind of fun. Let me get through traffic here. Um, it's actually two cars. <laughs> um, but on the way home, let's go up Highway 41 because we're going to go through... Um, what's called Gibsonton. Ooh, fun! Yeah, so there's um, Gibsonton, Florida is historically, it was a fish camp for carnival workers during the off months. During the winter months, they would go to um, this fish camp and just hang out. So the, the carnivals still hang out here in the winter and there's a lot of like carny themed bars. You're going to see the Showtown Bar, which is famous. You're going to see a lot of cool attractions. We may do a completely oh, separate video about Showtown. Are we allowed to go in there? It, at one point, it the Showtown Bar was only workers. for carnival workers, but I think um, someone's grandson bought it and opened it up for the public. I've been in there a few times. The first time I went in there, let me get over. The first time I went in there, mm -hmm. um, nobody's letting me over. Um, the first time I went in there, they didn't serve me. They were just like, no, we, we're not serving you. You're not carny. Oh, wow. It's zoned carny. How so, do they know you're not I think they just, know. they just know. They can look at me and be like, turns out you are not a carnival worker. Wow. So, um, yeah, I sat there for the longest time and they were just like, nah. Yeah, wow. But I've been into the um, Showtown bar since then. You can walk up to the bar and order beers and drinks and shots. Okay. So that's not a big deal. I went in there with friends before and it's it's a fun place. Um, they have cool murals, right? No, they used to. We'll have to see if they still have some really cool carnival style murals on the walls. And then I know um, Lobster Man, I think it's his name. Um, he used to frequent that, a few famous mu um, magicians. Also in Gibsonton was the home, he was the um, like fire chief, Al Tamini, who was uh, Guinness's world's largest um, fire chief because he was the giant at the carnival. Oh, that's awesome. And I think he was advertised to like eight foot tall or seven seven. I think he was just over seven one in real life, but he wore a really tall hat. And then too. also in that area, there's the Viking Giant. So if you Google the Viking Giant, you'll find him 
um, he was from that area. But just tons of famous carnival workers, magicians and stuff live in this area. So we'll try to hit all that after we get Vietnamese today. So that should be pretty exciting. This is a fun adventure. Yeah, we got a lot going on. I hope, hope you didn't have much planned. <laughs> <laughs> but folks, yeah, stick around. We've got a lot of cool stuff. I think this is going to be a fun video for you. I'm excited. Um, do you want to explain what banh mi is? Um, just a Vietnamese sandwich. I think it takes a lot of um, French influence. It's got mm -hmm. a... a little piece of like a baguette, almost like French bread, right? Yeah, and it has a lot of like this uh, almost like a mayo type of sauce in it that's kind of made out of eggs and butter and it's really good. It makes it very... Um, just very rich. Yeah. Now normally um, there's a few different types. They will have pork banh mi. They'll have chicken banh mi and a few others. I'll probably get the pork or the chicken today. Um, I think there's one with ribeye that he does that is really good because Tom makes the best ribeye. And then they will put um, different like veggies on it. What veggies do they put on it? Um, typically um, they do cucumber, some daikon and carrots kind of pickled in there, um, jalapenos, oh, yeah. and cilantro. And then you put on their special like hot sauce. Their hot chili oil is the, the best I've ever had. Yeah. So, so good. So Amy and I are thinking about going to Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. So we are planning for later this year and we'll record a bunch of videos for it. We'll go back to um, Japan probably, fly to Japan right. first and then pick one other country to go to. Last time was Japan, then Thailand. We were looking at kind of last night at different flights. Should we go to Indonesia? Should we go to the Philippines? Should we go to Vietnam? We were looking at all the different flights and dates and kind of trying to figure things out. So if you guys have suggestions or great airlines to use in that area of the world for like a Tokyo to Ho Chi Minh or something like that, let us know. Yeah, and check out all our old videos for all the Japan travels and Thailand travels. We fed elephants and did all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm excited about that, but I think we should maybe do a poll and we'd love to hear the comments here. Like, what country should we go other than Japan? Like, what Asian country should we hit? And then we should honor that. We should go to the, yeah. the, the country yeah. that people pick. I'm leaning towards Vietnam, Thailand again. Like, um, we didn't go to Phuket yet. Yeah. Or Manila, you wanted. You were interested in Manila, right? Yeah, that could be really fun too, I think. Um, what city is it in Vietnam that you'd want to go to? Probably Ho Chi Minh, right? Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Again, tell us in the comments. That would be fun. And then, um, what what travel blog folks have we been watching lately? Let's give them a shout out. Uh, we've been watching... Um, uh, travel with Chris? Travel with Chris. Travel yeah. with Chris. Which Chris on Instagram. Yeah. Chris, uh, tag. We've watched a little, historically, I watch more than you do, um, Secret Sexy Vacations with oh, Vacay J. Yeah. AKJ, yeah. let's go! <laughs> and then, um, let's see, who is Sophia? It's not Sophia, what's uh, her name? Uh, Sophia Nygar? Yeah, we're butchering Sophia? the name. Sophia? Sophia, maybe Sophia. Yeah, she's, she's fun, but she, she does a lot of fashion stuff. I'm not into the fashion and makeup, but, but she, her, her travel, travel to Vegas awesome. has been a lot of fun. Yeah, and I think she went to like Iceland, that was good. Maybe she should go to Iceland also. Ooh, yeah, they That'd did that whole... That would be a long flight from Tokyo. Yeah, and then the other, like, the the 500-pound gorilla lately since 2020 has been Peter Santanello. Oh, yeah. He, I like him because he always um, interviews people, like locals. Yeah. And I think the fun thing about interviewing locals is locals who, they aren't afraid to, like, they don't censor themselves. They're just telling you their opinions and thoughts on things, which gets a little more controversial and draws you more comments. Yeah. You know, like, sure. if you're a professional YouTuber, you've done YouTube for a while, you you kind of accidentally learn not to say anything controversial. Right. But when you just get some guy who's like, you know what I don't like is power plants. And then you're just, oh, okay. you get a bunch of weird opinions on power plants in your video because the guy who you're interviewing will just tell you his thoughts. Yeah. Um, so that's fun. We should probably, when we travel to these countries, I know um, like a few of the travel bloggers will, um, they will sometimes take their cab driver and just tip them a little bit extra yeah. and then like come with me to this market or something. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, who is um who's the guy that we saw go to Colombia? Oh, I don't remember his name, but I really like his channel. Yeah. He does okay. A lot of fun travel. I think he's out of Miami, mm -hmm. based in Miami, but does a lot of travel all over the world, but um definitely South America, which I want to explore more as well. And we should do another South America trip. Yeah, well, last year we did Colombia. Yeah. Um and that was a super fun trip. I, I think 
last year, so to give you a history of the channel a little bit, we started off doing animal clips, right? World's greatest animals. And then we changed it to more to adventures because we travel a lot. And I'm not wrestling sharks all the time. <laughs> I'm not a shark wrestler. I don't even like swimming that much. <laughs> Although we did swim with sharks last year. We did, in Bimini Bay. So we switched the channel name to World's Greatest Adventures. It was demonetized for several years, so I kind of let it like sit for a while. Yeah. But this last year, I've decided to rebuild it with all of our travel stuff. So we hope that we gain some followers um, and that people get interested in some of our travel adventures. Because it's going to be more travel. We're still going to do fun animal stuff too, feed the elephants and hang out with the whatevers. But um, I'm excited to see what this travel channel turns into. I like food, so there's going to be yeah, gonna days be where we just get food. fun, go to Showtown Bar. Yeah, there's going to be travel. And there'll still be animals. Costa Rica next month. Yeah. And I, I've been told that there are a lot of monkeys and a lot of sloths. We're going to see the two toed sloths and the four toed sloths. Ooh. I don't know the difference. Are yet. the four toed, I would, you would think the four toed are much faster. Uh, I don't know. Like maybe twice they're as slow. fast. Maybe they're way slower. <laughs> it's slow like, slow well, well, if you guys know what's the difference between a two and a four toed slow sloth, let us know. And don't just say, well, the number of toes, which yeah. is probably what the answer That's probably. is. <laughs> Yeah, so um, that's kind of fun. Um, what is our next travel adventure coming up? We are going to Mexico in like nine days or something like that. I'm very, very excited. I'm very excited for this Mexico trip. Um, we're going to check out one of our favorite resorts. They just added on a new wing and a new pool and two new restaurants. So we're going to get to try all that out and see if the renovations are worth the hype. Okay, so we're going to hopefully do a long form video um, about our trip there. I know that, like the travel day there. Um, I think, good, bad, or indifferent, I've been doing shorter videos, like a minute or two going to this place or that place this last six months on this channel. And I think YouTube and a lot of people want longer form videos. Yeah, I think you, people want to see the longer. That's because like, people want it. Yeah, make a short short and make a long long. Yeah, they want a six second short or a 30 minute long form video where you get to see everything going on. It's a little more fun, it's a little more interesting. Yeah. All right, with that being said, um, let's go ahead, we'll get you to um, Tada's Kitchen, the food truck. He has a location in Brandon, Florida as well. There's Folak Ta's brother that's in Riverview, Florida and a few other places. They're like in Lakeland and Zephyr Hills. We're gonna show you the food, and then we're gonna drive up Highway 41, which is um, eventually extends to like Alligator Alley all the way down to Miami. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's go check it out. I'm excited. Not sure if they're even open yet, but. Well, we're gonna go see if they are, and if they're not, we'll go eat next door, <laughs> but, and then we'll come back here and eat second lunch. So this is Tada's Kitchen, the food truck version. He has a. Um, brick and mortar location as well. Chicken fried rice. He has good ribeyes here. Ty, you open? Yes, sir. I know I this guy. I know this guy. Do you know what you want? Mm. Hey guys. You know what I'm getting. Get myself some some banh mi. Some banh mi yeah. How you doing? I cannot wait to try this place out. It's been, uh, I haven't been to the truck probably in a year. Yeah, it's been probably a while. over a year, probably over a year. So, what brings you down to Ruskin? There's no Vietnamese food here. <laughs> there is now. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm gonna put this on the YouTube. Yeah, go ahead, bro. yeah hype you up. Thank you. Yep. All right, so let's see what we have here. This is my banh mi. Let's see if we went with, did he say we did chicken or pork? Do you remember? I, I think he just surprised you. Surprise? Well, this looks like pork. I usually pick up the jalapeno, but this is fresh jalapeno. Might leave it on just to try it. Normally there's a little bit of cilantro. Um, this is going to be a pickled daikon. And they put like this buttery sauce on here that's absolutely phenomenal. And like I said, it's like a French baguette. Should I do the jalapeno? Yeah. Oh, wow. How is it? It was really good. Are you gonna try with the chili oil next? Mm. Now the chili oil, let me finish chewing this so I don't choke. The chili oil is crazy hot. 
And Amy just bathes in this. I don't know how you do it. Oh, it's so good. I'm just gonna put oh, just a little bit. Woo! Just a little bit. Oh, that's way too much, right? That's uh, way too go much. Go for, for it, me. go for oh, it. God. I haven't hit yet. So far, so good. You got mostly the oils, less of the chili, so maybe it's Isn't okay. Yeah, you shouldn't have got that on your finger, though. Mm. Do not touch your <laughs> eyes. Do not touch your eyes, folks. It's an amazing sandwich. But yeah, they got wings, fried rice, shrimp, all sorts of stuff here. And then the restaurant has a ton more options. Um, do you guys want to see what Amy's eating next? All right, let's turn the camera around and you can show all off right. next. We've got a big bowl of chicken pho. Really so what is pho? Vietnamese soup. Vietnamese soup. I need it today. I'm a little uh, dehydrated. <laughs> a little H-U-N-G-O-V-E-R. <laughs> so um, we've got some this and then I'm going to put all of my veggies in over here. Oh wow, look at all the vegetables he gives you. Basil, so fresh, it smells so good. Basil. Uh, put this in here. Ah, why attacked me. <laughs> we got sprouts. The sprouts are so good, and they always have a lot of fresh sprouts. Okay. Hi. Oh, I got holder Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, and your chili oil. Now you don't mess around with the chili oil. It's good stuff. You know, I survived the jalapeno and the chili oil without incidents. I'm happy with that. <laughs> that was actually a good addition. I'm gonna keep my jalapenos on today. Yeah, they are. All right, so you're just gonna scoop that in. Mm -hmm. You're a wild man. You are wild. Even the even Ta and stuff are like, why are you putting so much in there? It's so good. That's the best part. You can see it's just red now. Red with heat. And then, is yours chicken or vegetarian? Is it chicken? Chicken today, yeah. Mmm. Got a lot of right. in here. So once you mix it all up, everybody has to make their own their own way, and now. You can put the hoisin sauce in there. Do you use hoisin sauce at all? Sometimes, yeah. And the sriracha. Yeah, I'm gonna try it first. See what we got, let's try it. Okay, how's how's your mix? It's really good. Is it really good? It's so good. You like the chicken pho, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, now you normally get the vegetarian pho, so which do you prefer now that you've tried both? Well, I like the one that, you know, love the one you're with. And <laughs> I love the one I'm eating. <laughs> I love the one I'm eating right now. Yes, sir. That's Kevin. That's Andrew. How you doing, Kevin? I own that seafood hey. place right there. Oh, you own the seafood place? Yeah, and some buddies. What's the name of the, what's the name of the seafood place? Because we were talking about having to go there. The Ruskin Seafood Company. Okay. What's, what's your crab leg situation? Well, we're known for our snow crab. Nice. But, um, when Publix was selling them back, like, a year ago, in February, they were on sale for like twenty six, twenty nine, ninety nine a pound. Okay. And uh, we got them. The same. You selling stuff online? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. You might be able to get some stuff for. Uh, yeah, I'm having them tell me about it. I'm gonna put it on the same video, but then we'll 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 go hit it next. Yeah, if that's okay. Oh yeah. But we're known tell for, me about it. Our, we're known for our crab legs too because we got a smoking deal on them that like Publix did. Yeah. And but we didn't. Um, get the profit margin way, okay. way, way, way up. And yeah. Ever since we've been open, we've been selling them for nine ninety nine a pound, regardless mm -hmm. of what Publix or anyone. So. No way. So and we then, can come there right now and get them for nine yeah. ninety nine a pound? Yeah. And then, right. like, holidays. Second lunch. Holidays, we'll mark them down. You know, wow. So what are your hours? When are when are we going there? <laughs> Tuesday through uh, Saturday. Is today Saturday? Yeah. Okay, what time do you open? Uh, during the week, 10 o'clock, 10 to 6. Oh and, shit! So you're open right now. Yeah, on Saturdays we open nine to six. That's amazing. So where do you get your crab legs from that you can get them for that price? Uh, the, the, I think the ones are from Newfoundland or where? You know, Newfoundland. Like North, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. So again, the name of it is the Ruskin Seafood. Company. The Ruskin Seafood Company. It's exciting. We're gonna put that. We're gonna go there and eat there and make a YouTube video about that one next. I think so. People are gonna have to check it out. And then, what do you recommend? What do you eat? Like what if you had to recommend one item? My favorite fresh fillets that we carry is Corvina and I never had Corvina. I don't know what that is. It's in the uh, red drum family. Okay. And I've never had Corvina until we opened the shop and uh, you know, we do sample Saturdays on some Saturdays we cook outside with uh, our compounded butters and sauces. And that sauces sounds amazing. And, so. and um, 
So that was a nice surprise for me because I've never had it before. Have you had Corvina before? I don't think so. Sounds good though. All right, so we got stuff to do, and it's probably come back for either next week or second lunch. And we just got back from uh, the like the North American um, Seafood Expo in Boston this past week. How was that? That that was amazing. It was nice to meet all the different vendors and stuff, and the people behind uh, some of the companies that you deal with, the faces of all that stuff. So. That's exciting. Well, thank you. thank you so much. I really can't wait to uh, try that out. That sounds amazing. Feel free to stop it. We'll do. Thank you. You, you just <laughs> you didn't say a word. You were just destroying this pho, huh? Then I have another side hustle. I own a luxury portable restroom trailer business. Luxury portable restroom trailer business. I think I've seen a few of those like sometimes and it's... Like at a VIP. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm hmm those are all, those, it's always really nice. Yeah, <laughs> you feel pretty classy. I have one at a wedding in Tampa today, and I have another one at a car show in Detroit. Yeah, that's really cool. What got you into that? How did you just decide that was the right business? A friend of mine owns a restaurant and bar, and she rented one for their annual block and, party. Yeah. And when I realized uh, How much they rent them for? <laughs> the side hustle it is, I'm like, I'm going to own one, and within three weeks, I bought one. Yeah, no, that makes sense because there's always like a reason for that. We do so many outdoor events and, and Florida, food so things, and around, right? yeah. But people try to rent them year round at Florida, and that's just crazy. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. But our season is year round, but like our, our big event season is like this time of year. Like Who's your biggest season. customer? Is it weddings or is it just anyone? Um, typically, most people, it's like weddings, you know, where they have them at a wedding venue that doesn't, doesn't have enough restroom facilities, or if you have it in your backyard, yeah. and you don't want, you know, 100 people drinking through your house. I do not want that. That's some local people that have run it in just for like a Thanksgiving um, dinner good. because they're on septic yeah. and they had 30 family members over and didn't want to overload. That them. makes sense. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That's perfect. All right, so you're winning here, huh? My nose is ready. Oh, it's so have hot. To deliver. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna try mine now a little bit more. I can't wait to eat this. They have a limit. I have to record this. This hot sauce is kicking in. It's so good. So good. It's my favorite. But you you don't have a successful uh, Vietnamese food day until you can't fill your lips. Again. Your lips are like bright red. Bright red right now. Let's see your hands. Your hands are just covered in hot sauce. A lot of hot sauce. <laughs> Do but not touch your eyes. Because like my napkin is covered in chili oil, and then I'm just using it. Which is wiping it, your yeah. body with it. Yeah, it's gonna make you sweat. That um, you win. You won it, or maybe it won. Your hands are shaking a little bit from this. It's really good. I um, I don't normally get the jalapenos, and I started dipping my sandwich in yours, and that extra spice did kick. It was amazing. That may have been the greatest sandwich of all time. So if you get, are given the choice, are you going with the vegetarian or the chicken next time? Vegetarian, vegetarian you really like that one? It's great. It's wonderful, but their um, vegetarian broth is so flavorful. It's so good. Normally, I'm one to be like, can I eat your leftovers? But I don't think I'm going to do that today. I don't, I don't have the... Um, Try it. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the ability like you do. You're a tough lady. It's good, mm -hmm. sir. So, um, rating it 1 to 10, where do you put it? So it has nothing. 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> but yeah, Ta has his um, family working here with him today. And if you get a chance, go check it out. Absolutely delicious. And the only thing I regret is that like it, it got busy as soon as we got here, so we didn't get to hang out with Ta at all. Because we're going to ask him about, because um, he goes to Vietnam more regularly than we do, we're going to ask him about the Vietnam trip. So maybe next time. Well, I was going to go walk over to that seafood restaurant, and then we were going to head up Highway 41 to um, see what we see. Sounds good. All right, stick around. All right, so that was super fun. That was so much fun. My lips are swollen. I'm, like, it's so hot. It's amazing. World's greatest food truck. <laughs> um, now, the guy from the Ruskin Seafood Company asked us, he said, you know what, go over there. They're not real busy right now. I'm going to turn around so you can see it behind me because they're on the other side of the parking lot. And they asked us to come in and check the place out. Tuesday, Saturday. 
So I kind of want to like actually eat a whole meal here, but let's go in and introduce ourselves and see what they offer. Go ahead. They, he told us that they have a pound of crab legs for $9.99. How is that possible? It's not. That's insane. Lobster tails for $15.99. A box of oysters for $75. Is that a dollar for a key lime pie tart? I don't know what a tart is. How big is a tart? I don't know. I'm Can't be big. get one. Ceviche, you should get one today. Yeah. Medium stone crab. I don't think I can eat an entire stone crab today. <laughs> Large stone crab or jumbo stone crab. Wow. That's amazing. So they have soups, ceviche, shrimp, crab, mussels clams, oysters, scallops, and much more. And he said, ask for Ryan. He's the other owner. Whoa. Oh, okay, so they, I thought it was like a restaurant. I didn't realize. How you guys doing? Good, um, the guy next door told us to come in and just film a little bit. We're making a YouTube video for Ta anyway. So um, he said, come check this place out. For either of you, said, he said to say hello to Ryan. I don't know if either of you are Ryan. Ryan's in the back? He said, yeah, so let's get... What was, the, what was the guy's name we met? Kevin. Was it Kevin? I'm bad with names. Okay, so you get your seafood here. I thought it was a restaurant. I thought it was like a buffet. I didn't realize. Conch fritter mix. Scalps for fifteen ninety nine a pound. Look at these giant shrimps there. Key West pink. Well, they got everything. Those are huge. Oh, there's the key lime pie for fifteen dollars. Beautiful. Nice. All right. Well, let's get out of here. We'll come back and we'll get some seafood. <laughs> Almost got jumped by that dog. <laughs> so um, I had no idea. I had no idea. I thought that was a restaurant. I was completely well, I, confused. Uh, I think, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I wasn't company. totally sure, but yeah, it sounds like um, you buy your seafood there. And it looks like it's really popping. There was a oh, whole so group busy. of fishermen that came in, and I assume that they know good seafood. They yeah. all had their decked out in their um, fishing clothes, so. Well, this is like, a fishing town, yeah. so you would think they got good prices on fish. But that's super fun. All right, folks, we're going to continue the adventure here. Head up Highway 41 and see what sort of weird and obscure Florida stuff, Florida man stuff, we're going to see. Um, I'd be, sorry about that. Bluetooth um, did me in. I'm going to wait for these cars and then I'll stop the camera. But um, what do you think? What do you think? I'm excited to see a little bit more of that. Uh, Florida off the off the beaten path. Yeah, and I'd, I'd be curious to hear how many of our viewers are from Florida. So let us know where you're from. Because um, it is interesting. We At one point, we had a really popular snake video that got like 5 million views, right? And for whatever reason, it was very popular in Brazil. Oh. So like 40% of our viewers at one point were from Brazil. Now that's evened out a little bit. <laughs> but our Portuguese presence was enormous at one point. So, all right, folks, we're going to go down. This is, you can see it a little bit in front of us. I'm going to stop the camera here in a moment. Um, we're going to go down Highway 41. And Highway 41 will run us right up into Gibsonton, Florida, which is, uh, I think it's called Carney, Carney Town, USA. Yeah. Is that right? Carney Town, USA. And hopefully we'll see some cool carnival apparatus and cool things. I can't wait to show it off to you. So stick around. We have even more. Yeah. All right. You ready for our next stop? I'm excited. This, what is the name of this? Showtown Bar and Grill. The Showtown Bar and Grill. Legendary here in Gibson 10. Historically only for carnival workers. Now it's opened up to the public as far as I know, at least last I heard. Um, but we're gonna show you some of the artwork on the front. Now the artwork changes every few years because of the Florida sun. So it's currently looks like, um, what is this called? Prohibition? So let's walk you to the front where you can see, look at this stuff, front artwork on the bar. Isn't this kind of cool? So it says Showtown up top. Showtown established 1972. And it's just a cool looking old school bar. the minor sign oh that's 
That's an original Bill Browning. He was an old Kearney artist. That, he's the original artist on this place, but he's since passed, I believe. But that's one of his work. He always had, like, double entendres and fun girls tucked away. Can you see that okay? Pretty cool, right? So the Showtown Bar, Gibsonton, Florida. Anything on this side? Not really. Typical Florida. But yeah, I'm a big, big fan of the artwork. This originally was painted of a facade to where you, you could, um, I think you could actually drive through and get your liquor. You used to have a drive-through liquor here in Florida. I don't know what wild swamp we live in, but it's amazing. They just do a cool job here. All right. I like what they have to do for the Walk around back. Point the camera this way so you can see the place in the background. All right. Oh, they got a food truck out back too. Bacon, just a bacon food truck. Well, I might have a new favorite food truck. The bacon dog. The Bacon Dog. Well, we got something else to explore later. It's called the Bacon Dog. Across the way, there's a there is a drive-through liquor store, <laughs> and a weird former gentleman's club now Taqueria. So Gibsonton, if you get a chance, check it out because it's pretty cool. All right, Amy, you promised me you had a joke for us too, right? Did you have a joke? She doesn't uh, have a joke. Oh, oh, Did you forget um, your joke? No, I, no, I got it. I got it. Okay. What is Iron Man's favorite carnival ride? What is Iron Man's favorite carnival ride? A Ferris wheel. Uh, <laughs> so, what did you think of Full Luck Top? You a big fan? Delicious, amazing as always. I'm glad that he's taking it on the road and sharing uh, his delicious food with uh, all of Ruskin. Right. It seemed like it was getting busy real quick. Yeah. Um, we decided not to good. film inside the Showtown bar because sometimes they aren't super friendly to that sort of thing. Yeah. So we decided not to film there. Ooh. This is Florida, so there's a lot of jungle here. We gotta, we gotta get through the trees. Yeah. Yep. Get that up. Woo. <laughs> Made it. Here we go out and walk to the lake. The food was delicious. But I'm hungry again. But it's been three hours, so. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. You know, we've been stuck around that 140,000 subscriber mark for a while, ever since YouTube demonetized us. But we're back, and we're gonna. We've been posting new videos every day this month. So please click that subscribe button. Yeah. You look like you got something for me. I'll take a Goodbye. <laughs>